for coming out. The girls were asking you to stay where you are. Boys, you're excused. But the song we came in with is called our healing song, the Swinomish healing song. And we wanted to open with that song because of everything that we've been through over the last four years. We have some people missing from our family. And I'd just like to ask everybody to take a moment of silence for those that we lost during the pandemic, for those that we were not able to properly gather for, for the families that had to say goodbye in a different way. Never in our lifetime did we think that we would be faced with something like this. So we could just have a moment of silence for all those that we lost during COVID. Thank you. My name is Aurelia Bailey. I'm the culture director for the Swinomish tribe also a Swinomish Senator. Our kids gather every Monday. They love to sing and they love to dance. They dreamt of this day that we could come and share that Haich and share that good medicine. Bring that joy and happiness again because right now is a time for our native people to heal. And that's why we wanted to open with the healing song. We traveled here with two other canoe families. I'm going to ask Brian Cladisby to come forward, Eric Day to come forward. Jay Jefferson, skippered our youth canoe. I'm going to turn the mic over to them. Thank you. Good morning, Canoe Journey family. We, uh, you know, you, you got to love Canoe Journey. The best laid plans. It's at four o'clock in the morning. Our kids stay till six. Some of them are still up from last night. Yeah. Yeah, uh, some of us adults petered out about one o'clock. My name is Brian Cladisby. We travel on the Salmon Dancer. My, I, I was blessed with two names, one from Taksha Blue, Vi Hilbert, Speepots, and one from my father, who passed on two years ago, who was a fixture here at Canoe Journey. He gifted me his song, Kel Kaltsut, Kel Kaltsut. That name is on the Point Elliott Treaty, about the third to the last signature with an X. But I am very, very, very honored and blessed to be on this floor. Very honored and blessed to be chosen for this day to be with my people. I was the former chairman of Swinomish for 23 years. I was on council for 35 years. <laughs> Only by the grace of God, nothing I did. Only by the grace of God and a beautiful lady that has been by my side for 48 years. I wouldn't be where I was without God and without Nina. She walked in today with us. Is there any, uh, any macaws in the house? I'd just like to recognize the macaws in the house. When I was elected president of all the chiefs, all the chairmen, all the leaders in the nation, president of NCAI, National Congress of American Indians, the macaw tribe, stood me up and gifted me this hat. So thank you, Macaw Tribe. Yeah. 
I wear it proudly. We are so blessed. As I look at our youth, I think of all of the historical trauma and the generational trauma that each and every one of us in this room has had to deal with. And I can only say one thing to the tribal leaders, to the parents, the grandparents, great-grandparents. We need to break the cycle. We need to break the cycle. One generation at a time. And as I look at our youth standing here, some of them our first generation youth being raised in a home that's 100% drug and alcohol free. <laughs> These kids here have a fighting chance. They have a fighting chance. They are setting the stage for their children. And I just have to say that to our families, each and every one of us has those families that are still dealing with drugs and alcohol. Never give up on them. You know why? Because nobody gave up on me. Nobody gave up on you. Many of you are in here have walked away from drugs and alcohol, and I thank you for that. You're breaking the cycle one generation at a time. This is a healing journey for all of us in many different ways. And once again, I want to ask you to raise the roof for the Muckleshoot tribe for allowing us into their homeland. We raise our hands to the Muckleshoot tribe. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have three families here. We were told we get two hours of canoe, so we'll be here for six hours. <laughs> <laughs> but we're just happy to be on this floor, this special floor, this sacred floor, to share with you what we learned from our elders. And once again, these are not our songs. There are songs gifted to us by our elders, and it's our job to turn, hand it down to the next generation. It's not ours to keep. We look forward to sharing these with you. And once again, I pray that each and every one of you has a blessed time here. And I just pray that each and every one of you returns home safely. And I pray that each and every one of your families back home are protected. There's a Hedge of protection around them as you're away from them. Osiam, Haishkasiam, Nisjelis Jesiam. Kleko, Kleko, Lemlimch, Mahalo. And for our cousins from down south, Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> Eric Day is my name. Stoltz is my traditional name. And I just. I also want to raise my hands to the Muckleshoot for their hospitality that they've shown us for the past few days, allowing us to come here, share with you the love that we have, that we want to bring to this floor, the laughter, and all the healing, you know, what was being spoken of is the healing that's been coming from tribal journeys. And, you know, it's been a long time since we've been able to gather like this, so it's good to see all these faces out here, all these you know, re reunite with old friends, meet new ones. It's always great to, that's the, what, one of the beauty of tribal journeys, you know, get new people, and get to meet new people and hear their story and hear, you know, what they're going through. We can help each other in that way, be that, be that ear to listen to. And hopefully somebody's out there to be the ear for us as well. But, uh, and I was thinking uh, our, we lost our mother three years ago, about, almost three years ago now. And 
she had a lot to do with the canoes that we have at Swinomish now. The journey, our disqualitude at Sea Salad, the racing canoes. You know, she had a lot to do with those being here. So, and that work led to this right here. All these kids, all these people standing here with us. You know, it was because of that work our mom did. She laid that plan out and built this, built, built our canoe family to what it is today. I'm forever grateful for that. <clears throat> now, I was thinking earlier about, I guess the hope, my hope for the future. You know, I, was, I was asked that question before, what, what is my hope for the future for Tribal Journeys? And that hope is right here, these kids that are out here dancing, our royalty that we have here, representing the Swinomish people in the, in the way that they do. And my hope is for them that they continue the teachings, they continue to learn the ways of the canoe journey and carry that on for the next generations. You know, don't forget why we do the protocol landings. Forget, don't forget about how sacred this floor is and how we have to respect it and treat it when, when we're on this floor and have that loving prayer in our hearts at all times when, when we're doing this work like this. You don't, we don't know who we're going to help out when, when we're praying in a good way. You know, we're reaching out for somebody out there, so we've we got to pray for that person. That, that's the, the hope that I want for the future. I'll see you. OCM, my name is Sasaisa Blue. My name is Jay Jefferson. My Indian name comes from Stahopsh, from my grandmother, Cecilia Morris Jones. I'd just like to thank you all for being here this morning. You know, I got the honor of skippering these beautiful youth that you see standing in front of you. This is my first year fully skippering a Swinomish canoe. I come from Lummi. I'm married into Swinomish. I've been in Swinomish for 11 years now and been a part of this beautiful canoe family ever since I've been here. Yeah, you know, I don't have too many words to say, you know, just that I really enjoyed myself, that, you know, these youth are really uplifting. And a lot of, a lot of them, it was their first time on the canoe this year, on the journey canoe. They went from paddling war canoe since the springtime until now. So we got to where we were going really fast this year. But uh, yeah, I just want to thank you guys for being here. And you know, I also want to mention that uh, this is my son, Leo Thompson. It was his first year paddling on the journey canoe. He's been a part of our family and done his, his first journey was uh, Campbell River and he was six months old. But uh, this year he's six years old and he got to paddle and I got the honor of skippering him for the first time. You know, this is what it's all about. You know, raising our kids in this walk of life. But uh, yeah, I just really wanna thank you all for being here and thank you for having this time or letting us have this time on the floor. You know, I'm sorry, um, I went up with Lummi, my family from Lummi and these kids are so awesome, they stayed up and came up with my Lummi family. We didn't get done until 6.30 this morning. So, you know, I just want to put, also put my hands up to my kids for staying up with me and, uh, you know, toughen it out and, you know, we kept going into today. So, and with that, I just want to say Haishka. And stay tuned because Auntie Dusty, that's my nickname, got pictures of every one of them sleeping on the chairs and the benches in the ground this morning and in the bus. So we'll be posting those pictures later, you guys. At this time, I'm going to ask the Swinomish senators to come forward. I'd like to turn the mic over to our vice chairwoman, Alana Quintasket. I'll wait for my fellow senators to join me up here.
Hash daughter to good morning. Si Walta Otsi Shabut Sitsa, my traditional name is Si Walta. Alana Quintasket Pasadu Titsa, my English name is Alana Quintasket, and I'm currently the vice chairwoman for the Swinomish tribe. And I would just like to raise my hands and thank you all for being here to, to see our youth, to hear our songs, and to share, share in the healing with all of us. This is a big, big moment for us to be together, to be healing together, and to be back in, in, under one roof, on one floor. And I'm just really, really grateful to, to be here. It's been a long four years. A lot has happened. And I know that we're all in deep need of this, this healing. So Tigui to Bufedchar, I raise my hand, or I, I thank you for being here. Give our Senate a big hand. Thank you, thank you for being here for this journey. At this time, we will excuse our Senators and we'll turn it over to our Swinomish royalty. Hello everyone, my name is Chloe Edwards and my Indian name is Kilshi Besa and I'm 2022-2023 Swinomish Princess. My mom is Ida Edwards and my grandparents are the late Lisa Wilbur and Greg Edwards Sr. Thank you all for having us here and it's been a great time so far. Thank you all for coming out today. Hot Slaughter 2, Matthew Teets, Doc, Carla Seeds, Coy, Jordan Teetabod, Casey Scrimpin, Teetabod, Courtney, Courtney Scrimpin, Seeds, Coy, to all shit, sweat up, a spot, but last year beat to bush late shit. Good morning, my name is Matthew Stone. My parents are Carla Cashmere and Jordan Stone. My caretakers are Courtney Scrimpin and Casey Scrimpin. I am from Swinomish. I am the Swinomish warrior, and I raise my hands to you all for being here. Hashtarutu to all Chud Slunamish Clinket, Shannon Clark Seatsta, Wanette Clark Seatskoy. Hello, everybody. My name is Shannon Clark. My mom is Wanette Clark. I'm from the Slunamish tribe, and I'm also Clinket, and I'm the Miss Slunamish Princess 2022 2023. And I'd like to thank you all for being here this morning. I'll see you. Hello, CEO. My name is Chaz James. My new name is MK. My parents are Atlanta Fornsby and Sonny James. My grandparents are Bruce James and Bar Barbara James. And I'm happy to be here. Hello, CEO. And I'm the Swimish Warrior. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sam Caillou. I am Swinomish Princess. My mom and dad, my mom is Dora Shaw. My dad is Brandon Caillou and Casey and Courtney Scunfin. I am happy to be, I'm happy to be here. This is my third year paddling um, after the pandemic and I'm really happy to be here and I raise my hand to you all. Hi, my name is Casey Williams. I'm a Swinomish warrior. My mom is Marcia Julius. My dad is the late Anthony Julius. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Iana Caillou. My parents are Dora Shaw and Brandon Caillou. My caretakers are Courtney Squinfin and Casey Squinfin. My grandparents are Therese Peters and Lawrence Finkbeiner and Vernon Caillou and Thelma Angabo. It, it was a huge honor to be able to come and paddle for my first year to paddle to Muckleshoot. I love being here and out on the dance floor. Thank you guys. Now Sam, Nishala Chasiam, Salekul Sunasna, Chachlami Ishwadabsin, Hohuisum Sun a man, Kanak Tanat Sunatan, Sunni Alang, Kustanya Isiastin, Isiakadab, I Matthew Sunasosila, Nukchisin Makwalia Konasanat Tachel Tiakais, Nisli Konaskal, Akakoinat Skal, 
Altsin Kachit Saklami Chasin, Iyutatasin Kwanis Kwanal. Hello, my respected friends and relatives. My name is Bailey Washington. I am from Lummi and Swinomish. Corey and Marlisa Washington are my parents. Aurelia Bailey, Jim Washington, Cindy Lee Plaster Thompson, and Matthew Thompson are my grandparents. Thank you for being here today. I would just like to say a few words. I do not know the Lummi language, but I'm still learning. I am a Swinomish Princess 2022 to 2023, and I sit on the Halami Youth Council. Haishka, thank you. Hi, my name is Alice. This is my daughter, Peyton. She is a Swinomish Princess. Her grandparents are Donna Charles and Steve Edwards, and we're happy to be here. This is her first canoe journey. <laughs> Now Siam Nishalacha Siam. This is Haven Wilbur, and she is the 2022-2023 Tiny Top Miss Swinomish. We are really happy to be here, and this is her first canoe journey. And with that, our royalty only have one week left to carry their crowns and their sashes. We'd like to extend an invitation to everybody here to come to Swinomish Days, August 11th, 12th, 13th. And we will have our canoe races, our stick games. We will have a bouncy house carnival, three on three basketball, a whole bunch of fun activities, our celebration, our annual celebration every year. So with that, Give our royalty another hand. They've been phenomenal. We will turn it over to our drummers.
That was our Clearing the Path song. Give these girls a big hand. The next song we're going to sing for you is our Good Morning song.
to the floor, girls. Back in line. At this time, we would like to share our Eagle Blessing song. This is our signature song. We're inviting anybody who would like to come out and join our dancers, please. Anybody who would like to join us, please come down.
Give him a hand. Thank you. Thank you all for coming out to dance. Having our boys out on the floor, please. Girls, stand by. Girls, stand by. Come on, girls. Come on. Wait. Come on. This is for all our warriors. If you're a veteran, please stand up. If you're a veteran, please stand up.
honoring our past and present warriors. Let's give a hand to all of those warriors that stood up today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. At this time, I'm going to call my grandson forward, Duran, and my nephews to come stand out here for a minute. Stand out here, boys. You know, it's true. Our grandparents told us in order to give our children and our grandchildren better, we have to put them on a path that's going to take care of them. It's going to take care of them spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally. In today's age, these boys could be anywhere else, doing anything else. But they grew a great love for singing and sharing and interpreting the songs that come to them. They're composing their own songs now. And I'm so very proud of them because it takes a lot of courage for a young person to stand up and to recognize the gift of being able to hear that blessing. For whatever reason, they have to share this. We hope that it touches someone in their heart and their soul to help them today. Because we're taught that our children are pure. They have good hearts and good feelings already. And they don't have no bad intentions for us. And we teach them that they come and they sing and they dance for our elders, for those that can't get up and dance, for those that can't stand out here and sing. And our hope is that when we're ready to sit back, when we're ready to be the elders, that they're going to continue the teachings that were passed down to us, that we are passing down to them. So I really, really want to give these boys a big hand because they've done some phenomenal work over the last few months, working hard to bring their new songs out. So my grandson, Duran, he has a song. It's called RT. He's going to bring that out tonight for the first time. So thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here to witness this. So step back.
him a hand. Give him a hand. This next song that you're going to hear This song was composed for my sister. We lost her to breast cancer. We truly believe that we have women warriors as well as men warriors. Our grandmothers, our mothers, our daughters, our sisters, our granddaughters. For all those that have fought this battle, for all those who survived, and for all those that we lost, this is our woman warrior song. Our prayers go out to you and to your families. We pray that everybody who meets this battle will survive, will come through with a positive outcome. We pray for those that didn't make it, and we pray for their families. So with that, for all you women warriors, this song is for you.
Thank you. At this time, the girls are gonna come and share their feathers with some of the ladies that are here. So quickly, girls, go and share your feathers. Quickly, girls. This next song was composed by my nephew, Kaysen, one of our Swinomish warriors. This is also a new song, and this is the first time it's going to be introduced. Let's give Kaysen a big hand.
was the Raven song composed by my nephew, Kaysen. He's 12 years old. Give him a hand. Our next song that we're going to sing is called The Spirit of Slahal. This song was composed by Pudgy Edwards.
a hand. Good job. Good job, dancers. The next song that you're going to hear is a song that was composed. Danny, come out. A lot of you probably remember Pray for Dano. Pray for Dano. Well, here's our nephew, Dano. When all the odds were against him, he said it's because of all of you in your prayers, all of the love that everybody had for him, that his body is being healed. He said, I'm going to come on journey with you, Auntie. I'm going to walk. I'm going to live as normal as I can. I'm going to camp. And he showed up with his sleeping bag and his bag of clothes. And he's so happy to be here. What he battled, what he faced. I don't know how many times they told us that he wouldn't make it. But here he is. And in his heart, and his mind, he believes it's because of all the prayers. And... He's single. He's looking for auntie. But he said they have to be older than 18. <laughs> okay, with that, we're going to share our Quisquam Warrior song. Give Danny another big hand. Raffling him off after this song. Get your money ready, ladies.
Partner up, partner up. We're gonna share our T-Select paddle song. to come and join in please do so if you'd like to join us for our paddle song our t-sweat paddle song Mic check, mic check. Hey, everybody want to come out on the floor with us? Stretch your legs. Come on out. Give that butt a break. Come on out, everybody. Everybody that wants to stretch their legs, come on down. Come on down. Join us right now.
Thank you. Give him a big hand. Give him a big hand. At this time, we have a canoe family. And I want to call the members of this canoe family to come up here. Swatsalitsa canoe family members, if you're here, please come up. Come forward. Our brother, Dave Williams, his family owns the Sea Wolf Canoe. Recently, he suffered a stroke. And the Swatsalitsa Canoe family wasn't able to bring their canoe on the water. But they came to sing and dance with us and to take part in our protocol. And I know that our brother Dave is watching. We love you, bro. We're sending you all of our prayers. We wish you could be here. We pray that every day you improve. We pray for Janet and his children because we know how hard it is to recover from a stroke. So with that, we're gonna sing our sea serpent song and send prayers to our brother David Williams and his family. And for the family standing here, because we know how hard it was for them to not be on the water. Their hearts and their minds were on the water. They wanted to travel in their canoe. But unfortunately, the circumstances changed. And next year, they'll be back. Next year, they will be back. The year after, they will be back. We love you, Brother Dave. This one's for you.
brother Dave. We love you. Love you, bro. So this canoe journey's been a lot of fun. Hanging out with all these teenagers. At Swinomish Camp, we have a curfew. Our curfew is 11 p.m. My older kids said, Auntie, you're getting too soft in your old age. It used to be 10 o'clock. Well, if somebody doesn't make it back for curfew, their curfew goes back an hour every time. And some of my older kids you see standing here, I think they probably had a 7 p.m. curfew at one time. We all know what they were doing. We all know where they were at. Well, the kids that we have now, they never got to experience this for four years. And in their life, four years during this period is a huge time. Many of them, like they said, was the first time they got to be on the canoe. But they sure know what snagging is. We have an inside joke with our youth canoe family. We were in Suquamish one year. And some of my older girls, raise your hand, you know who you are. Raise your hand, Lexi Bob. They were standing at the shuttle stop waiting to go down to protocol. And a few of us chaperones drove by and there's a bunch of guys standing there checking them out. So I rolled my window down and I said, hey, what are you hoochies doing? <laughs> my girls got so embarrassed. So it's, it's an ongoing inside joke for our canoe family that once they finish their first canoe journey, they, they earn their hoochie badges. <laughs> so my nephew says, well, what does that make us? I said, I guess that makes you guys hoochie hoppers. <laughs> but they're a lot of fun. And I know they like to snag. So this song is not a snagging song. This is a friendship song. And we're going to have our kids come out and pick somebody to come dance with them. And you cannot, you can't say no. You have to dance with them. If they come and get you, you have to dance with them. So quickly find a partner, not your snag either, somebody else, not your snag. Quickly, quickly, and get in line. Quickly, quickly. Hurry up. Let's go pick somebody. Amanda. What did I say? You can't be hooked at a hip with your future husband. Go find somebody else. You set an example for the kids. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, hurry, girls. Go get somebody quickly, quickly. Evan, that means you got to grab somebody else, too. <laughs> Okay, let's get in line. Thank you for being good sports. If you want to get a partner and join in, please do so. Is there anybody from Warm Springs in the house? Anybody from Warm Springs? If there's anybody from Warm Springs, please come down. We went to Warm Springs when they received, when they brought their canoe out. They blessed their canoe. And we shared this song with them. So Warm Springs also sings this song. And we want to invite them to come and join us if they're here. Daniel, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. 
Dano needs a partner up here, so anybody who wants to dance with Dano, come on up and grab him. Okay, if you have your partner, get in line, get in line. Like I said, if you want to grab a partner and join in, you're more than welcome. partner for Marty.
wants to talk. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask all my kids to go back and see Auntie Myrtle help bring the give, giveaway items out, please. Uh, when we come on Canoe Journey, we tell our kids that they have to ask two questions. When they uh, get that twinkle in their eye, they got to ask the other person, are you my cousin? Are you my cousin? Then the second question we tell them they got to ask is, do you get per capita? <laughs> if they say yes, one is an option. So while they're bringing out the giveaway items, I'm going to ask Tony Cladisby to come forward. He was a skipper for the salmon dancer. He got here on Indian time. Hey. <laughs> I just got to see him raise my hands to y'all. I stand here in amazement, happy, tears in my eyes. Normally when we have tears in our eyes, we're not happy. We go through rough times. We've been through some rough years. But when the canoes first came to Swinomish for canoe journey, we were tasked to go along We were volunteered, actually. We were on our culture committee. Ray Williams purchased a canoe. And he had nobody to crew or skipper. My late skipper, the koala, My brother, Will James, tribal members, Pudgy Edwards, Marvin Campbell, and another brother, Joe Quintasket, were the ragtag group that left Blaine And we were only supposed to go from Blaine to Swinomish to bring the canoes into our territory. All five of us, without saying a word to each other, knew that when we got home, we were not staying home. We had a job to do and we were going to complete our job. And during that time, we had no songs, no dance, no gifts. We welcomed, we were welcomed to shore at every spot we went with open arms and accepted into the canoe family. From those five of us that picked up pullers, everybody's spare pullers along the way so that we would have enough pullers on our canoe. It's a canoe that Northwest Indian College now crews. And during this journey as we're picking people up and new people at every spot, I pulled into Suquamish this year. The only time this year 
that I was the only enrolled tribal member on the canoe out of the crew. I had a Comanche, a Puyallup, a Muckleshoot, I'm sorry, has had that happen before on Journey? Nooksack. A couple of the new people from the New World. Yakima. And it brought me back to that days that we were traveling in 98. And then I look at the floor today and I cry with tears. This troop that we travel with today, we get our elders to come with us too. We were alone, we had two elders that traveled with us. Our late elders, Alex Paul, and our uncle, Gus Stone. And they were the ones that taught us how to conduct ourselves on the water while we were on the water. Traveled with us to Muckleshoot. And I looked. And you know, how much time have we taken so far? Uh, two hours and six minutes. Two hours, six minutes. We couldn't even take 10 minutes on the floor when we were traveling. And we we're done just for saying thank you. We got another four hours to go. And we can do it. And you'll let us. Thank you. Well, well, we won't. When we, when we're done, when I hear Chief Frank's song, I never want to go home. I don't want it to end. And my heart is sad that we have nowhere to go next year. But we were patient enough to wait four years. We're going to be patient enough to wait another two years to go. When we set this example, our dreams and our prayers are said here and on the beach, and on the canoe. And in 98, I prayed for a cedar canoe. This last year, I started pursuing the endeavor. I was blessed enough to find my strip playing boards for the first canoe. And I'm putting a plea out here today for anybody with knowledge willing to pass that knowledge our way so we can start making these strip playing canoes at home. And in 98, I prayed every day at the bow of our canoe every morning for a cedar canoe. And I believe in speaking into existence and saying out loud what we need. We do not travel alone. And those that travel with us are message carriers, and they help us. And in 98, when I asked for that cedar, there was a gentleman logging in the Northwest here up in the Cascades. 
helicopter logger. He was also a millwright and a woodworker. He took this log out of the out of the woods. He had no idea what he was going to do with it. And he let it sit for five years. Then he milled it up and let it sit for another five years. And then he quit working on the wood. He gave up that part of his life. He gave it to his buddy. His buddy put the wood up, let it sit. He had no idea what he was doing with it. He put an ad in Facebook Marketplace for cedar. I was the very first one to answer this call. When I told him my story, I told him about my prayers. I told him about my vision. He sold me $4,000 worth of lumber for $400. This is what happens when we speak into existence that what we need. It is heard. We prayed for this, for this day, to stand here Swinomish proud and be able to sing for you and dance for you, break bread with you, show our love for the water, the community, the people, the ancestors. Because we are all warriors. Every one of us, one way or another, we are all warriors. And that's who we come to honor today. And these are our new warriors. The ones that will take the flag, that will take the torch, and carry it forward. For the next seven generations, we become stronger, better. With that, I thank you for allowing me this time on the floor today. I thank our hosts for the gracious opportunity to be here today and welcome us into their land. Hey, see you. My brother Tony was uh, diagnosed with congestive heart failure this year. And I wasn't sure if he was going to make it, um, Skipperin. Uh, he, uh, his goal is to, I don't know if there's, there's probably an older Skipper, but he's going to be 70 on his next birthday. And he says, I want to be one day the oldest Skipper on Canoe Journey. So if there's uh, somebody older than 70, he's still got some work to be done. Thank you. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Thank you, Tony, for sharing. You know, we're taught that we can't leave any ceremony without thanking the Spirit. These gifts that we bring forward today, they're to honor the Spirit that allows us to come and practice and share this medicine that we have. We cover the spirit today so that these blessings will keep coming to our young people. We have a very special honoring that we would like to take care of right now. I'm going to ask my mom, Sapelia, Senator Sophie Bailey, and Senator Barb James to come forward because our cousin, we're going to ask him to come forward, Mike Edwards. He helped us out a lot in 2011 when we were hosting. He's a first cousin to Aunt Barb. His dad was Reggie Edwards.
from Swinomish. And we want to cover him and show him how grateful we are and how proud. He told us at our landing as well that he would stand up with his family. Everybody kept trying to give him a chair and he said no. But his, I know his brother Charlie is at home watching. He's the director of our Boys and Girls Club. He said, let my brother know how much his family in Swinomish love him. And that he was very scared. That you were not going to be able to be here for this paddle to muckle shoot. I believe Charlie's the youngest of your siblings. But we want you to know how much we appreciate you and we want to cover you and pick you up even more to encourage you to keep doing your physical therapy, to encourage you to keep getting well. So from your family at Swinomish, we love you and we thank you, Mike, for everything that you've done for Tribal Journeys over many, many years. Hi, Chikasiyam. Okay, let's give this a try. I want to try this for a sec. If you can listen. Okay, watch this. All rise. All rise. All rise. All rise. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to bow to you. I just want to let you guys know I'm back. I'm back, and I'm happy to be back. It's been a struggle since the pandemic for me. And a year and a half, a year and a half, two years ago, I didn't think I'd be walking. I didn't think I'd be walking. But I'm walking again. I'm walking. I still have Left side still has paralysis, yeah, so I'm doing the best I can with my therapy. And I can't believe I'm here. It was my goal to be here. And like I spoke the other day, my goal at the beginning of summer was to be walking and talking by tribal journey time this year. And I did it. I had surgery. I had surgery about three weeks ago. About two, maybe about three weeks ago to help me with my voice. And it's coming back in. And it's working. I'm so happy to be here with each and every one of you. I have to thank my family, my family very much. It's always an honor to be with you and stand with you the best that I can. And I try to make a home when I can now, more than I have before. And yes, I want those stubborn ones run like chairs, but I'm a stubborn one. And I take off by myself again. I'll take off, go home to swim, help out, and people say, who are you with? I'm by myself. What? I said, yeah, I drove myself up I'm just to be with the guys. And I'm trying to get back to my independence that I used to have. I learned my limits, so I learned my limits when to slow down. So my hands go up to my family here, Cousin Marv. Thank you for standing me up. This is real, has been real good medicine for me. 
since you came home from Nami on the journey. My, that was my goal, was to travel the canoes, follow them this year, all the way home. My other goal was to walk around this floor, walk around this floor with my families and came along. I have to thank each and every one here and say, happy travel journey, happy driving journey. And thank everyone for being here. Coming to share your love with everyone. I can't believe how much love there's out there that was shown me throughout the whole tribal journey from Lummi. So much love came to me from day one there, all the way home here, and still continuing while I'm here throughout the tribal journey. So thank you, each and every one of you. I'll see them. We, uh, we also have another family member from Muckleshoot that we would like to cover in honor, our cousin Sarah Sam. Okay, we'll have somebody come and accept this for her from her aunties. They would like to cover her, thank her for her work and her dedication that she's put in to making this happen. And her gifts that she shared with her people. So from her aunties from Swinomish, they would like to present her with some gifts. We love you, Sarah. I know she was here at 6.30 this morning. She told me she was busy cooking, preparing food for everybody. So Mike and Sarah, give them another round of applause, please. I'm sorry, but for one thing, if my brother, if you're watching, I love you. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. We love you, Mike. We love your family, your beautiful daughters, what you have brought into all of tribal journeys to all of the communities and all of the people, the many travels, the many years you spent on the water, support boat, on the beach. It means a great deal to all of us in Tribal Journeys. So we raise our hands, respecting the work that you've done over the years. We have a gift for the chairman of Muckleshoot. If he's not here, can we have someone please stand in? We also have gifts for all of the tribal council. If there's any of the tribal council. Virginia Cross. Okay. Um, we have, open it up. I know, but we'll hand it to him because they're not here. So we have one of the very last woven blankets from Paddle to Swinomish 2011. Show it, show it to the room. And we wanted to gift that to the Muckleshoot tribe. We, we also have blankets. Go ahead and cover Vice Chairman. And you will, you will deliver these as well. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Thank you for everything that we have received here and your generosity, the hard work you guys put in to make this happen. We know all about that. So thank you so much. We're asking for four elders from Muckleshoot. If there are four elders here, 
Can you please come forward? Four elders. We're also asking for four youth from Muckleshoot. If we have four youth from Muckleshoot come forward. Four elders. Okay. Come on, girls, go ahead. Go ahead and show them, babe. Show them. There's one more right here, girls. Four youth. Four muckle shoot youth. Here's some more. Okay. Elders. It's the Gualton. Where are you going? Without our elders, this would not be possible. We have extra bags, so we will bring them around to the elders from Muckleshoot that are here. Thank you to the elders of Muckleshoot for making this happen. Give our elders a hand. We need one more Muckleshoot youth. One more youth. Do we have another Muckleshoot youth in the house? Oh, Mike! <laughs> Give it to her for her babies. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah. Okay. Again, thank you to the elders and thank you to the youth. If we have a cedar weaver from Muckleshoot, can you come forward, please? Accept a gift from the Swinomish tribe. Cedar Weaver. Give her a hand, thank you. If we can call two cooks forward or somebody to stand in their place, we need two cooks, the ones that have been working hard to feed all of us this great food. Give them a hand. Okay. Maggie's going to bring it back to the cooks because they're busy cooking right now. Okay, if we have a support boat person from Muckleshoot. Uh, oh, good catch. Is there somebody that did support boat for Muckleshoot canoe family? Vice Chairman, do you want to take it and deliver it? Okay. Bring it to the vice chairman. Um, a skipper and a paddler from the Muckleshoot canoe family. A skipper and a paddler from the Muckleshoot canoe family. Please come forward. Okay, right here. One more person. Yeah. Okay, one for each of them, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Give them a hand. Um, we'll, no, we'll, no, we'll give them out. No. And with that, our kids have some items to give away. You guys spread out throughout the whole. Okay, please accept these gifts from Swinomish. We're very honored and grateful to be here.
we'd like to share a little bit of something with everybody. So spread out all the directions, kids. Hand out what you have. Please accept these gifts. Who's all happy to be here? Keep it alive, keep it alive. This has been such a great feeling. You know, our kids were kind of bummed out that we hosted at Swinomish and then we only had two stopovers after that. So it was a short journey for them to get here. But nevertheless, it had the same meaning and you could see the changes and the healing and the compassion, the loving, caring, and sharing that was coming back to life for our community. Some of our elders came here late last night waiting to take the floor. And then we had to wait until this morning, which was fine. But I see our same elders here today that were sitting here last night waiting some of them slept in their car. So I want to acknowledge our Swinomish elders for being here to stand with us today. The last song we're going to sing today, it's called our departure song. Before we go into our departure song, we have a couple birthdays in the house. Aaliyah and her papa Tandy. Come on down, Tandy. Come on, come stand with your granddaughter. We want to share. And by the way, Aaliyah turned 18 years old today. Well, Lacob is giving you $20. 
And he's giving you twenty dollars. Casino. She says casino money. <laughs> She's been waiting for eighteen, but unfortunately, the casino here I think is twenty-one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, bingo. <laughs> okay, take it away. This song, this birthday song is composed by Scootsy James. He's almost an elder. Eh? Get down. Get down. Okay, we're going to end with our departure song. We hate to do this. We like to be here to share with everybody. Four lines, girls. While the kids are lining up, we're going to turn the mic over back to Muckleshoot.
Testing, testing. Hello, everyone. Wow, what a beautiful presentation. We thank Swinomish for sharing part of your culture, part of your songs and your dances with us and for honoring us and for helping each and every one of us heal today. Feeling very blessed to be here with each and every one of you. And uh, at this time, I do, I do want to turn the floor over to our language sisters. We have some gifts for you before you, before you sing your departure song. So with that, I'll turn it over to my language sisters. Thank you again. Hot Slache, Elizabeth Bucky Sheldon Seedsta. Good day, my name is Elizabeth Sheldon and I'm, I go by Becky. I wanna thank you guys for sharing your songs and your dances and accepting our invitation to Muckleshoot. And we would like to gift you guys some gifts and give me a minute because I need my paper. <laughs> I would like to give a shout out to our language department. They have been here gifting all of our families uh, for the last few days. And so they've been taking shifts and, and they along with all of our other relatives here at Muckleshoot have been working really hard. So everyone, let's, let's give the ladies a, a round of applause for, for what they've been doing. He's, uh... So from each family, can I get a male elder and a female elder, please? So three female elders and three male elders, please. And then one more male elder, please. They tell it, they, whatever they tell you to do, you do. Don't question them. And then can I get a male youth and a female youth from each family? So three male youths and three female youths. Three. three. We need one more male youth and one more female youth. And then can we get the male warriors and the female warriors, please? Three each. Stand up front so we know who's 
Oh, no. So warriors, can you please step up more towards me, please? Thank you. Agui to Buffet. Now, can we get a male drummer from each family and a female dancer from each family, please? Can we get one more drummer? Agui to Bushle. Now, can we get the skippers, please?
Okay, you guys. Egg with a bushel. And finally, can we get the canoe leaders, please? Canoe leaders, please. We have extra gifts and totes for you guys. Oh, she's a giver too. Egg to We have these totes and more gifts for you guys. Thank you. Before you guys leave, on behalf of Milkashoot, we want to thank you for always being such great hosts when we come up to your land. We enjoy it. We love it. We never want to leave. It's a beautiful scene. And thank you for coming down. Yeah. Museum. Skipper the Salmon Dancer asking for Swinomish. We've enjoyed our time here. The journey has went well. We've been welcomed well, treated well. We have many stories that will be told after today on how well we've been treated. It's time for the tide for Swinomish to untie and head for home. We humbly ask to leave your shores. It's a... Uh truly a, a beautiful pleasure and honor to be able to share this time and this space with you as our relations and as our family. We uh, thank you for accepting our invitation and for spending time amongst us. Um, we truly appreciate the passion and the beauty with which you share your songs, your drum, and your dance. We hope uh, that as you do move forward and look to return to your lands, that you'll share your experiences amongst us here at Muckleshoot as a, a joyful one, one where we were gracious and treated you with uh, generosity. Thank you again for traveling. We wish you safe travels uh, from our homeland to yours. Uh, we look forward to the next time 
we can again come together and, and share in spirit. It's uh, incredibly meaningful and even more powerful because of the fact that it's been so long since we've been able to do so. Uh, it's been our true pleasure and our true honor. Thank you for your times amongst us. You have uh, permission to untie and to leave our shores. Aishka, the hot ups, thank you.
Wow, that was amazing. Thank you, Swinomish. That was beautiful. We're honored by you. We're so grateful for